This is the GQ GMC 320 Plus Geiger counter. It's a handheld Geiger counter that measures the presence of ionizing radiation. More specifically, it detects beta particles, gamma rays, and x-rays. This is the GMC 320 Plus Geiger counter. Comes with a mini USB cable, a radiation safety guide, a CD-ROM with USB driver, software, and documentation, a felt bag, a USB adapter for your car, and an AC power adapter. Here's the 22-page uh, user guide that I printed out. It's a lot more detailed than the uh, single page quick guide that comes with the unit. As you can see, it uses an actual Geiger Mueller tube. It also uses a 3.7 volt lithium rechargeable battery that comes with the unit. On the side, it has a mini USB port for charging and data logging. It also has a 3.5 millimeter analog data output port as well. The housing is made of plastic. And on the bottom, it has slits that allow the tube to measure incoming radiation. Here are the uh, specifications. Pause it uh, if you'd like to uh, take some time to read it. These are the various screens you can choose from. Graphics and text mode. I prefer the text mode because it shows more information on the screen, like the date, battery life, counts per minute, microsieverts per hour, and elapsed time, all on the same screen. There's also a large font mode. Here's the power button. You press and hold until you hear a beep to turn it on. Okay, the uh, Geiger counter has been on for about uh, five, seven minutes, and the background radiation is reading 21 counts per minute. I usually get uh, maybe 10 to 25 counts per minute in my area on average. And it's uh, showing 0 0.14 microsieverts per hour. I'm using a sample of americium-241 extracted from an old smoke detector. As americium-241 decays, it emits alpha particles and also gamma rays as a byproduct. The half-life of americium-241 is about 433 years. This means in 433 years, half of it would have decayed, being less radioactive. Americium is actually very radioactive. Samples found in smoke detectors are very, very small but they still emit a lot of radiation. This radiation is generally not dangerous as it does not travel very far. But if you inhale or ingest any of this material, it could result in cancer and other serious health issues. Now, I would not forcefully remove the sample button from the metal housing. You want to avoid damaging the sample and possibly producing dust and small particles. That would make a dangerous situation. Here's my sample of americium-241. Let's see... Uh what the Geiger counter measures.
Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Have a great day.